so ladies and gentlemen, Simone and I have something to announce. We have decided to get lunch. Come on, come on, Simone. Isn't it like afternoon? Okay, it's a late lunch, all right? We worked all morning. Come on. We're going to walk across the street here, too. We're going to run. Turn left or stop right in front of me. Well, okay. we can't walk on the field. <laughs> okay. Where are we going? This is an endurance lunch. We're going to go, we're going to go here to... Uh, Did you actually check the road? No. I'm pretty fast at running, though, so usually the cars miss me. <laughs> let's, go have, let's go have lunch. Well, we decided to have lunch together and have a little date, and it was very fun, wasn't it? Did you have a nice time? Yep. You want to continue dating? Uh, yeah, why not? Okay. So, sure of yourself. Mm, can I kiss you on the cheek? No. Oh, okay. We're in public. We're in okay. It's an Amish marriage, huh? All right. Um, can I borrow your harvester again? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, oh, by the way, I got this. Hang on, this is a little gift I got for you. Come here. What? There we go. I gave you a CB radio. Now we can just talk to each other whenever. Oh, okay. That, that sounds good. Yeah, so just radio me. If you need something, you don't have to, like, call me on the okay. phone anymore. That makes um, sense. You nearly got run over. No, no, not at all. I'm good. <laughs> <coughs> all right, thank you. I'm going to be back to get your harvester in a couple minutes. Okay. And uh, I got sorghum I have to harvest on one of my fields. And I may need to borrow it again tomorrow, but since we're dating, I guess it's probably cool. She just Yeah, you can just use whatever you want. Yeah, whatever. You can use whatever you want of mine, too. Well, you only have a tractor. I've also got some other aspects. Oh. You can borrow any eggs that you need from my sheep, um. any wool that you need from my chickens. Right, okay, well, how so I... they're full. How do I get down? Ah, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to have some field plowing to do myself. I'm sure you will. How many horsepower does my tractor have? Do you remember? No. I think it's 120. Uh, this is also my field. Oh, my God, dog. The farm dogs are barking. I wonder what's the matter. Is that, is that danger, fire, foe? All right, shut up. Shut your mouth! <laughs> oh, roll, 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 roll. Go outside. Go tell mommy you want to go outside. We've been dating for 10 minutes. We've already got dogs. That's what happens. First it's dogs, then it's children. All right, so here we go. This is the my sh sorghum field. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I can feed sorghum to the chickens, right? Yes. All right, so chickens, chickens take sorghum. What the heck are you doing over there? And Sorry, uh, I'm saying my tried to eat in lunch. Uh, but we just had lunch. Well, I was snacking. <laughs> You're, uh oh, she's an awfully hungry girl. Last night she made uh, chicken al Alfredo, and she got herself. We both had big heaping servings, and she got herself a second serving. And I'm like, "There's no way you're going to be able to eat that." And sure enough, like she got like three bites done, and she's like, "No, I'm full." It's like I told you. You bullying me again? I'm always bullying you. You know that. I'm just because you're a big bully. A big fat bully? Is that what you're going to say? No. Fat bully? No. No. Okay. Because I'm not. I'm just a, a middleweight bully. What's so funny? Nothing. Nothing at all, sir. I'm going to try to drive through this uh, ditch here with the harvester. Oh, I made it. Look at that. Whoop. And out onto the main road. I can actually see where I'm going. 
Look out, Mr. Little Dears. Swear to God, I was driving home last night and there was a deer stood in the middle of the road. Just looking at me coming on. Not surprisingly today, there was a deer on the side of the road that had gotten hit by a truck and had its, like, whole rear end removed. Oh, Alpha! So, you don't need to tell people things like that. Well, it was probably the same dumb deer. So this whole sorghum process is weird to me because it doesn't really, I don't know, like, it still leaves... Our field is going to have to be, uh, uh, what do you call it, stubble removal. Because it leaves behind a lot of stubble. And then we will uh, cultivate. I think this field needs plowing, too, if I'm not mistaken. I'll take a look at it real quick. But yeah, it needs plowing. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. These people didn't really take good care of this field. I guess in real life, sorghum is pretty dense, though. Like, you get a lot of material from it, so. You get a lot of it it's on a high quality Yeah, right. So but it's. why you get a lot of it. Yeah, but you feed it. You get feed, which is good. Yeah. The only downside is you don't get any straw from it, so. going to run along the backside here twice to kind of uh, ooh, watch the train. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of weird. I own these two fields and I don't own that field, but then I own the next one over. Uh, but I'm just trying to get these all harvested and, pr and slowly get them turned for next year. Not sure. I, I need to grow at least one crop that'll make straw. Or do I? I don't really need straw for anything. No, I don't. But maybe I'll just grow some just because. I don't have a, I don't have a baler, though, either, so nah. So maybe sorghum actually would be a good one. Let me look and see what... Uh, I need to double check again. So you're sure chickens take sorghum? Pretty sure? I mean that would make our lives easier. Yeah, I'm gonna fill their I'm gonna fill their silo up all the way. It might already be filled all the way, but So I'm going to go ahead and get this harvested, folks. We'll do a little quick quick motion animation here with some good old Arthur music. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes here. We'll go ahead and get this done. And uh, enjoy the little video montage, the speed, the speed recording. Have fun. See you in just a minute.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are just finishing up the last row here of unharvested sorghum. I got a nice load. Looks like I got a, uh, maybe more than a tipper full, which is not great because I really want this to all fit into one tipper. But what I might do is put this last bit into our silo if there's room um, for the chickens and then the rest of it. We'll store and we'll sell midwinter because um, I think I'm not sure how many days that chicken feed lasts that if that if that thing is full i would imagine it lasts for quite some time what do you think babs mm, i don't know i mean we'll just have to watch it so i'm thinking next year i'm going to grow one big field of sorghum probably probably 54 and then these two fields will probably be a, a bumper crop i'm thinking soybean And so then we'll have a crop to sell also. Because um, these are nice, these are decent sized fields going on here between the two of them. So let's see if this will all fit into one. I don't think it will. I think we're going to have some left over. Yeah, maybe. Do you have a washer at your, uh, your place? Nope. Do you have, and you don't, okay, so... And you don't have a repair shop either, do you? No. Uh, oh, look, it took it all. Whoa. I don't think you do. Sun's starting to go down. I'm going to take your harvester over to the shop and uh, get it uh, fixed up. Oh, okay. That's part of the deal. Anytime I use it, I repair it 100%. So... You don't have to do any repairs on it. I'll take care of the repairs because you've been gracious and allowed me to use it a lot. We, 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 Monsieur, we, we, Madame, Bonjour, qu'est-ce que c'est? How's your How's your uh, plowing going? I'm already plowed. Oh, jeez! Quick plow action, huh? I think all I've done is mulch my fields here. Man, I don't see. I don't have a, a, a washer, so there's that. Um, <laughs> yeah, these are. This is not even cultivated yet, so that's all right. We got our little chicken barn here. You can hear my wife belching. I mean, my girlfriend. <clears throat> and uh, so after I make my first profit, I am going to buy a washer. And I'll probably actually put it on Simone's farm because that's where the majority of the equipment that we're using is kept. If she'll let me. I don't know if I can. Actually, I don't know if I can because I don't own that land. So that may not work. But. I may have to put it on my land. But I want to keep our equipment, both hers and mine, at full functioning capacity because we, uh, we're going to be using it a lot. So Especially this harvester. This is going to get a lot of use. So once I harvest that... I think it's either soybean or canola. I can't remember which one. The other field that I own, uh, I will rent another stubble remover and remove stubble. 
Is this all my fertilizer that's on that pallet, Jack, or is that yours? I don't know. Uh, I don't remember buying any of that stuff, but I guess I did. Do I own a sprayer? I don't think no, I own a sprayer. No, I have a sprayer. Yeah, I own all this. Okay, so I must have purchased this and loaded it. I don't remember doing that, but good for me. There's my arms and stuff. <laughs> I don't remember doing any of that. But I, apparently I did. Wait, you have arms? Yeah. What about legs? Not for the tractor. Let's see, this is $100 to repair the Rosa Mosh. $35 for the header. Not bad. And we're going to head over to her farm area. Hello, sweetheart. Hi. What do you want for dinner tonight? Beef. Just plain old beef? Yeah. Hamburger or steak or? Yeah, steak. Sounds good. All right. <coughs> I'll have to run to the grocery store. Where are you? Coming down the road with your harvester. Oh. I'm going to run to the grocery store, grab the, the beef. And then after dinner, I need to uh, I need to get back and get my tractor back home <laughs> with its sorghum load. Yeah. Yeah. So you're sure chickens take sorghum, right? Yep. That's good news. I'll fill up that silo the rest of the way. Hello, Momo. Good. Bringing your tractor home. All right. I don't want to run you over. Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> we know what you want. <laughs> what do I want? Never mind. Don't answer that. Man, how did you afford all this stuff? <sighs> oh, Lord, she's yawning. I tried to convince her to take a nap, but she said no hokey pokey until she gets a wedding ring. She said, my honey, my darling, don't put my love upon no shelf. Don't give me no lines and keep your hands to yourself. I don't remember saying anything like that. <laughs> uh, it's an old country song. Well, not country. Southern rock song. We'll just leave it like that. Oh, yeah. That's right. I was going to. Okay, can I borrow the, the uh, Kubota or the uh, Mahindra to take it to the store? Yeah. All right, I'm going to run over and grab some some moose chops for dinner. Except for it's stuck. So we're going to run to the grocery store. Well, I'm going to run to the grocery store. What happened to the road in front of your house? What do you mean? <laughs> There's no road anymore. It disappeared. <laughs> All right. The good news is we live just down the street from Grocer E. Mart. So I'm going to run in here and grab some groceries. There's that. And uh, let's go see what they got. At the grocery. Oh, wait. Oh, what's this? Uh, cool tractor ice cream. Huh. <laughs> they charge three cents for water? What a rip. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grocery shopping. 
All right, I got all the goods for dinner. Going to take them back home, and then I'm going to go get my tractor and bring it home. Well, I'm going to see the chickens first, but... guy's got a re I've got a receding hairline hmm when did that happen you've got one in real life as well no I don't yeah. I've got hair on my head like a golf ball or like a tennis ball no your head looks like a golf ball Martha. oh thanks so complimentary dang it what happened here <laughs> <laughs> My groceries are all askew. All right, so now I'm going to drop the groceries off and run over to my tractor. So I will be right back. Drop these off here at home. All right, so we are, now I'm going to deliver this sorghum. Well, there still was more room in here. Wow, this is a pretty big tipper. Uh, we're, going to take these tip burp. we're going to take these tippers over to my farm and dump them out, and then we're going to go home, and I'm going to make dinner. And uh, if my girlfriend's ready, we'll have dinner, and then, and then when she's done doing her stuff. I don't know. I mean, there's more stuff we could do today if we wanted to push the sunlight. Because it is getting late in the season. But I don't really have to do anything until after this crop is harvested. Is no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. All right, let's see. Uh, open cover. Tip side. Left. All right. Oh, but why is it still saying it needs rolling when I'm rolling it with the right thing? Which one are you doing? Okay. Hold on one second. Let me explain something to you. The Okay. If you seeded it, you yeah. needed to roll it immediately after you seeded it, which you did not do, which means that it's going to always say needs rolling. Uh, the rollering that you're doing right now is fertilizing the grass. Oh. Okay. So it's a different process, but it's always going to say needs rolling because you didn't roll it right after you okay. seeded it. So if you want to fix that, you're going to have to reseed, which is a pain in the arse. In the bottom. Bah, in the buckum. Okay, so this chicken coop is a hundred percent with nine. Yep, with a nine ten thousand. And so we are going to just keep that sorghum in our tipper, and the chickens should be fed for the rest of the year, I would think. And look, they're producing eggs. That's great. Bagok, bagok. <clears throat> so now we're going to head back to the main farm. We will sell the remainder of this sorghum. Eh, maybe. I'm still conflicted on whether I should sell it or keep it. Because... I don't know. I guess we'll 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 watch for another. I'm gonna hold on to it until October at least, and we'll watch the chickens and see how long it takes for them to eat through that food. If I have enough to keep me till next, you know, harvest, then I'll just you know leave it, but or sell it. But if if not, if it seems like they're gonna go through two or three thousand liters a month, then I'll need to hold on to it for longer the farm. Typical. Mr. Jobber. Yes, Mrs. Simone. You're kind of cute. Are you going to marry me? That's a little bit forward. Yeah, it was only our first date today, I know. I tend to move quick, though. Uh, I mean... I have some bad news for you. Uh-oh. You're married? Nope. What? So, the year, like, not next year, but the year after. Yes. 
Um, I have a farm contract in uh, Europe. Oh, yeah? Mm. Well, I mean, that would suck. I know. So you're leaving? I mean, we could get married and you could come with me. I suppose. Like two years from now, you're saying? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. But yes. But we got to work and make this farm successful first. Yep. It might take more than two years. Can you wait a little bit longer? I mean, I could probably extend it another year. Okay. Well, let's see what, what happens. But, uh, yeah. All right. We'll start talking about it. Yeah, see, you're fertilized 95%. That's really good. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about the rolling thing. Yeah. I think the rolling thing would take you up to 98% maybe. Well, actually, some parts of this field is fertilized 100%. No, I'm saying the yield bonus. Oh, it's 95%. Yeah. That's probably the missing. You didn't, you didn't roll and you didn't mulch. Well, you don't mulch grass. Yes, I understand that. But the first, I, I don't know. I, that's why I haven't done any tutorials. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> it's so confusing. Um, so are you ready for bed for the night then? Um, I've just got to finish rolling like... Uh, yeah, this one last strip and then, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. You like to hire workers, don't you? Um, no. No? I'm doing all this work myself. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, so she's going to... She said I could use her plow because I'm going to have to plow a couple of my fields, so that's going to take forever. <laughs> but the next step for me is going to be mulching those two fields once they're done being harvested. And then I'll start working on plowing. Though if that other field isn't ready tomorrow, then I'm going to go ahead and start plowing. Wait. Do you still have fields to harvest? I have a, a field to harvest, oh. yes. Wow. Why? Oh, just I didn't know you still had a field to harvest. Mm -hmm. It's still growing. I, it's either cannoli or... Uh, cannoli. Or uh, soy, soy buggers. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm going to go look. Hi. Hi. Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm, what? Excuse how are, me. How are things in North Yorkshire? Oh, my God. Bye, then. I'm just looking at my, come with me. I'm just looking at the last no. crop. Come look. Weedle. This is the final crop. This is why you never get into relationships. <laughs> Soybeans. Yep. The beans. They've died and fallen on the ground. It's soybeans. It's the final soybean. Yep, this is why you never get into relationships. Never gonna let you go. I'm gonna... Well, it's, the sun's really going down fast now. Don't be messing around with my stuff. This is my tractor. Yeah, but you're, I see what you're about to do. Uh, I'm parking. Right. Actually, in this last couple of minutes before we eat dinner, I'm going to run up to the shop. I'll be right back. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, I just, I got stuff I got to do. We're farmers. We're busy. We work all day and we work all night. Make, I'm all done, you know. Make, done what? Work. What I need you to do. Oh, well, that's good. Me too. I just got to deliver something. A sheep? Mm -mm. I'm taking my, uh, I got a trailer sitting at the, the cell point. I'll just bring it back to the farm today and then I'll move it to my farm tomorrow. You got all these seed bags here. Do you know that? I do. What are you going to plant? Your face. What are you going to plant it with? My fist. Ow. That sounds awfully painful. Yep. Should. Sure. <laughs> You're so mean. Hey, you don't want to want to get in a relationship with me. I'm having second doubts now. You're having second doubts? Yeah. Not just first doubts. It's not, for not first doubts, second doubts. 
I mean, we don't have to. I'll just go off to Europe on my own. Bye. No, you. We can hang out. That's we're good. We can hang out. Yeah. As long as you promise you'll be nice and not bite. I'm. She's a snaggle tooth. Pinchy bites. I think I might have just cut a car off. No, I guess not. All right, folks. So we've had fun today. Got a lot of stuff done. Got my sark, my sargum, my sorghum harvested. Now tomorrow we just have to do the soybeans. And that should fill up the back trailer. And then we're going to store them until it's time to sell. Uh, and keep an eye on the chickens to make sure that they're not, uh, I don't know, whatever I was going to say. To make sure the chickens aren't uh, taking too much food. I don't think they take that much per, per month, though. So anyway, we'll find out, but we'll see tomorrow morning how they're doing and kind of calculate a half day off, off of that. So, all right, I am back. I'm going to go grill the steaks. You want to come say goodnight to everybody? Yeah. Where are you? Turn around. How do you do that? What? You were, I just saw you. What the? Hmm. <clears throat> How'd you get up there? Oh, here. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we had fun tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Mwah. Elm Creek Hard Mode. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, we're, we're on Kissy now. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Have a good night, folks. See you next time. Bye.